Nations, welcome back to my New Hampshire craft room. I'm having so much fun on vacation, you guys. I am just enjoying this vacation immensely. My sister and I are having so much fun. Um, okay, so I just got my hands all wet paint. I guess it's not dry. What I was going to tell you is we're going to make a cute summer sign to welcome summer in. Summer happened on the 21st, but that's okay. We're going to welcome summer in today. So I took this sign from this Dollar Tree sign from the summer stuff. And I've already painted it white. And I thought I gave it a good dry, but I guess it's still a little bit on the wet side. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you um, what we're going to do. So, but I don't want to transfer wet paint onto these things. So let me just give myself a little hand washing here. I have just received five seconds ago before I came on here. I was getting ready to come on here and a car pulled up and my friend Gail, Gailie Poo delivered me some beautiful flowers again look at it's in a little drawer can you see that i am just loving this she doesn't have a little she has a little business but she doesn't really have a business business or i would give her information out she's just retired and um she's just playing around with floral designing and look at what she does i am so I love flowers. If I could get flowers every day of my life, I would be so happy. I just love flowers. Look at the color. They smell so good. So I am going to sit them right over here so we can enjoy them together. Let me move my drink. Grab yourself a nice cool drink or a hot drink. I have sweet tea. I'm a sweet tea kind of girl. I've got the fly swatter handy. We are in the uh, garage and um, I did have the door open earlier and it's not as warm as it was, but it's still warm. So what we're going to do is we have the Dollar Tree sign and then I got to show you what I did. I in the painting department at Walmart, I grabbed some of their um, painting chip things, you know, so that they tell you the color and you can bring them home and see if you like that color on your wall. Well, I picked up a few of them and I cut them into popsicle shapes. So we are going to make these into little popsicles. And then I cut, now these are not popsicle sticks. I'm going to show you the difference. This is a popsicle stick and this is a coffee stirrer stick. But they have that rounded edge and they're smaller. So I decided to use a coffee stick instead of a popsicle stick. But if you only have popsicle sticks, they will do great. Then we have a sign, I think this is from, this is from the wood pile at Hobby Lobby that says welcome. And while this um, white sign is drying just a little bit more, we're going to paint our welcome sign. The thing is, I didn't, I think I'm going to paint it blue. I didn't know if I was going to paint it yellow or blue, but I think I've decided on blue. So we're going to do that. And then I cut out some Dollar Tree white vinyl on my sister's Cricut with the word summer. So we're going to, and I couldn't even find her transfer tape. So we're going to take tweezers and put our letters on one, one by one. And um, you can use, if you don't have a Cricut, you can use, that's a good brush, uh, Dollar Tree sticker letters. Or you can just hand write. I'm not good at that. So I'm just going to do the top layer of this welcome sign in my blue. And I'll tell you, it is, what color is this? It's Apple Barrel Bright Blue. Apple Barrel is a Walmart color paint. 
So I'm not going to deal with going in and trying to get all the insides. I'm just going to do the very top layer here. So summer, summer started, I think, on the 21st, if I'm not mistaken. And I had this craft in my books, and I wanted to do it, but I'm on vacation. I was going to do it on the 21st and say, welcome, summer. But I'm welcoming summer on vacation and just having a blast. I have had so much fun. I'm seeing my great nephews. I only get to see them if I'm lucky once a year. I think I saw them six months ago though because I was up here for Thanksgiving. So this year's a little different but I'm so enjoying them. I swear they've grown a foot since I saw them in November. So this is our little welcome sign. And now let's give this a quick little dry. So one of my great nephews um, just turned 11 and had a birthday party here at my sister's house. And he had 15 kids over. And of course their parents and we just had a cookout. And, no, actually we had a 4th of July cookout. For the birthday we had pizza and all kinds of stuff, all kinds of food and fun. They did a big water slide. But you know what they did? They played water baseball or water wiffle ball. And um, so what they did was they put out sheets of plastic and then pools, little rubber blow-up pools for their bases. So they hit the ball and then would run to their base and slide on the slip and slide. And then into the pool was their base. They had a blast. I have never seen that before. So, okay, now let's take our, we're going to arrange our little paint chips in the colors that we want for summer for the word so we got s u m m e r do we like the let's see i might want to rearrange like that i think i want to do it that way so we are going to i'm going to take tweezers and i'm hoping for the best here but i'm going to use these just as they were stickers and i am going to Put my letters right on and I'm gonna go towards the top because I think I'm gonna cut you know what let me just stop right here for a second I think I want to cut these short a little bit shorter so let me trim them down just a hair because I think these popsicles are a little on the long side I'm going to take about a quarter of an inch off. And they're just made of paper, so... Okay, so now we can do our S. I might not even need the tweezers. So we're going to put S for summer. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so we get S. And then we need you. So the weather has been so beautiful. I have no complaints about the weather here on my vacation. I have been so lucky. It's been absolutely gorgeous. It has just been absolutely gorgeous. A little warm. A little warm, but that's okay because we've been spending lots of time in the pool. And to be honest with you, uh, my pool at home is 90 so um, I can just walk right in. It still cools you off. And oh, I'm going to have a hard time with the M here. But um, if it wasn't hot and humid, I probably wouldn't have gone in the pool here. So I've been just enjoying it, really enjoying it. But it's um, changed. The weather is still hot. And beautiful, absolutely paradise here because they took away our humidity. So the humidity is what really gets you, you know. It's really what makes you uncomfortable in the summer is the humidity. So that's gone. So, uh-oh, S, 
U M M E. Where is a missing? I know I had it. Let's see. My up oh, here it is. I was gonna say. So I guess we're changing our color. <laughs> it's gonna be E R here. So we will do E. Um, so yeah, it's just been paradise. Really, really happy. My sister and I, my sister was only on vacation one week um, since while well, I've been up here. And um, poor thing, she's been staying up late with me because we just can't get enough of each other. My sister and I are best, best buds, you know? And we just can't get enough of each other. So, all right, I hope you can see this. They're not glued on yet. Now we are going to, I'm going to put these on little tiny risers. Just first, let's put our popsicle sticks where they're going to go. And maybe that would be a better idea first. But I want to, so I think, See, I'm talking a lot and not saying much, aren't I? I have to space these out. Let's get the perfect spacing. So we know where to put our sticks. Okay. And that should fit nicely right about there. All right, so what I'm going to do is huck glue my sticks down right now because that way I'll know if these get moved where they belong. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue, hot glue. So I hope everybody is enjoying their summer. Oh, you know what? I'm going to have to cut. Let's see, we might have to put this up higher. I kind of wanted that in the middle, like that. So, we're going to have to cut um, the stick a little bit shorter on the ends because it's not going to fit. I'm going to use this stick for the M on summer. And then I'm going to have to cut the stick so it will fit on the S and on the R because it's in the corner and it's a little bit shorter, but that's okay. And I'm eyeballing this to try to get it like approximately the same height. And this one should fit perfectly. And you know, I was even considering making these go up and down so that they kind of were quirky. So you could do that as well. You know, like S, U, M, like that. What do you call that? Jagged? Probably jagged. But then we're going to put some risers on our um, letters or our popsicles because I want them elevated. So we're not going to put like a Jenga block because that would be too thick, but um, probably a popsicle stick piece. Underneath it will do just fine. All right, now this one we have to cut again. So let me just kind of, uh, I'm going to try to get it the same. And we'll cut that. And the thing about these little coffee servers are they cut so well with scissors. They just snap right off. Okay. And my sister had coffee stirrers. I didn't go get them for this, but um, popsicle sticks would do. Now I am going to take a popsicle stick, <coughs> excuse me, or two, <clears throat> and just elevate my, I'm going to glue this to the back of my popsicle, and whoop, 
elevate it a little bit. And I might want another piece. I'm going to put this on. Yeah, I know that'll be good. So one, one little piece of popsicle stick, and I'm just cutting them off in little squares. No bigger than, and I don't know, big, not little, tiny. And I'm just going to glue it on. To each one. Let's cut a few and then glue a few. So Gail just came and brought me beautiful flowers. She spoils me. I'm telling you, I am going to miss her when I go home. I, I am one of those people. Let me know in the comments if you are too that... If I could afford it, I would have flowers delivered. You know how people have flowers delivered in their for their home every week? I would be a flower a week arrangement. I would definitely do that. Um, so let me glue this on. I just love flowers. And you know, in Florida, it's whoop, my flowers grow mostly on foliage plants because it's so hot you don't get the kind of flowers like these that um Gail Gail grows these flowers in her backyard these are all flowers from her yard and all over her yard her yard is beautiful you drive by her yard and it's just in bloom and um you can see why she she uses all of her flowers. Look at the little, I think these are little black-eyed Susies. I love black-eyed Susies. I don't think we have black-eyed Susies in Florida. All right, now let's turn these over and get our spelling right. You know me, and I'm always mixing up my spelling. I'll, I got it right in the first place, and then I'll put it on wrong. Let's take a sip of the old sweet tea and wet our whistle. Um, did I tell you guys all about this yet? I don't know if I did. Anyways, I'm going to repeat it if I did. So I did not bring an Angel Creations um, apron with me when I came here. So I didn't want to get my clothing all messy. So I took a tablecloth out of my sister's stash, craft stash, and I made myself a little apron out of it. Funniest stuff, isn't it? So it's a little on the warm side because it's, it's flannel and um, plastic, but it's working. It does the trick. Look, buttons and all. Buttons and yarn is how I made this out of buttons and yarn. So cute. So we're putting our words on. This is coming to life. I'm loving, loving summer. I am enjoying my summer so much this year. It's very hot. I hope you have a pool or lake or some water nearby because it is a hot one everywhere, but I'm enjoying it just the same. Before we know it, it's going to be cold and we're all going to be complaining about the cold. And we have to enjoy what is right now. All right, so here is our summer. Isn't that cute? Little summer popsicles. We got lime, lemon. We got grape. I don't know what pink we'll call watermelon. Orange, and my favorite is cherry. Look, I have my Dollar Tree earrings on that I hauled in one of my hauls. Can you see them? I think they're cute. Very cute. All right, now we're going to put our welcome sign on because we are going to welcome summer. So let's just get some good pieces of glue on the back in just random places. 
why is it I run out on the very last, run out of a glue stick on the very last letter? All right, now we're going to place this down and pretty much eyeball it. And then we, I cut the piece of jute that was hanging. It was hanging from off when I um, painted it white. So I'm just going to take, I don't know where this jute comes from, but you can get jute at the Dollar Tree. And I am going to just thread that right back through. And we have a couple of beads here. I want to glue two put two um, natural and two, I mean, two natural and a white one in between. So I'm going to just do my little heat, uh, hot gun, glue gun trick and make a little sewing needle out of the beginning of this with twisted fingers. It burns, but we can handle it. My fingers are so burnt from, um, whoop, oh my goodness from crafting already so we are going to let me think now how do I want to do that I think what I'll do is just tie a knot right down here at the bottom I'll show you do one more I'm gonna cut my tail off so all I did was tie it on. Now I'm going to string a couple of beads and then this, we'll probably put a little loop too so we can hang it. This is fun. You could even paint your beads if you wanted different colors. But now I'm going to try to go back down through the first bead and I may not be able to but we're going to Sure try okay because I made that nice and stiff I'm going back down that and I am going to just tie this in a little knot my bead take that off I really wanted that tighter but it's not so I'm excuse me for one minute while I am busy tying a knot because that's just not big enough okay there we go so let's go back down here really simple knot is just taking a long time that's all. So, we are going to just put a little glue so that it doesn't come out. Because sometimes, I don't know if you guys, if you guys have ever found this, but um, sometimes when I put a um, knot in my jute, Cord, it unties. I don't know if you guys have the same problem. Look at this. How cute is that? Welcome. My welcome is a little bit crooked. Welcome summer with popsicles. How up? Oh, I didn't really glue not that very well. I'm going to try that again. Me. Let me just shove this. Let's see. I'm going to have to just tie a little knot like this see what we get and we will live with this so I had knotted that and I stuck a little glue and it's still unknotted but that's what we have a little knot 
and our little beads and our welcome summer and how cute is that I love that I hope you guys loved making this as much as I did I hope you guys are enjoying summer as much as I am this is a great time for you to give me a thumbs up and I got jute in my mouth sharing is caring so please share this with your friends family and social media and go ahead and hit that subscribe button 47% of my subscribe of my watchers are not subscribed that really really helps my channel grow and I would really appreciate it if you hit that red subscribe button all right everybody I've been on vacation normally I'm um I have a video every night at seven but forgive me I am going to um I'm just doing my best and um and I'm very blessed I'm very very blessed to even have this so um to have this little craft room so that I can do crafts with you guys while I'm on vacation. All right, everybody. Love ya. Thanks for watching. Until the next time, be good and do good. Bye now.